Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Life is Strange True Colors. I just thought about the meaning of colors. I'm thinking it has something to do with the auras and the emotions. The 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 colors of feelings, the the different emotions we all have as humans. Anyway, uh, this game is interesting. It is uh, getting spicy and dicey, I guess. And now it seems like we're starting the investigator work with figuring out how to make um, Mac make Mac confess to the truth somehow. It seems like a very risky business. But I'm excited to do it and uh, figure things out, so let's get into today's episode. I know Gabe made that call, but did Mac really let the blast go off just to get back at him? Um, wouldn't there be a reason? I never got to see bartender it's Gabe in action, true. but he left some pretty big shoes to fill. You know what also is uh, important when you when you read like crime books or investigator things or anything. Usually, the first suspect isn't the right one, unless sometimes it is the right one. But they're they they're pulling in so many other things happening during the way and so many other suspicious characters that you start doubting it was the first one and start thinking it's the other ones. And then in the end, it turns out to be the first one. So we could have a situation like that. But it, this could also be like a misdirect. And if so, it's a very good one because it's uh, kind of hard not uh, thinking it's Mac's fault. Because he is just a shitty human being, so. See? I mean, as far as we're seeing. Person. I guess um, a lot of people could be redeemed. Um, if you learn more about them, then you might learn that they, they weren't. Ooh, we can go upstairs. Uh, then they that they weren't at fault. Would have been fun to see Gabe crush some sweet powder, or whatever snowboarders say. Like I'm Alex, glad we didn't end with the tie. <laughs> Alex seems too <laughs> He's perky. So well, sort of, you know. Uh, at least I got to have a few good moments. Like, I would be distraught. One of the happiest memories I have. But we all Thanks, Gabe. deal Thank with God loss. Thank God for this thing. We'd never have found Ethan without it. In different ways. Gabe so used I'm to not judging her way of mourning. my hands if he thought I was going to beat him. Jerk. Gabe really meant the world to Steph. He did. And we, we didn't really get that impression earlier in the game. Um, because we didn't see them together too much, you know? God, I hate doing start. dishes by the hand, by, by the hands, <laughs> by hand. Okay, that did make me feel a little better. Not much to toast at the moment. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. The kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. Fuck. I just got him back. How can he Yeah. Be gone? Like, that seems to be the hardest to me. Like, they, they were just allowed to make memories together again, and... Uh, it, it, yeah. I want to see if there's any different clothes here. There are. Ooh, love that. I really like the green pants here. They look good. And I really love orange on her. This is cool too. Also the black that she's originally wearing is also cool. Wait, I didn't even realize this is uh, Sean's sweater. That was his red. I think his was blue maybe. We're gonna, should we wear that in honor of him? Let's do that. Let's do that. The red isn't really my um, favorite color. <laughs> hey, Shushu. Quite far away from it. Thanks for um, sticking around. Though I do, I do enjoy red somewhat, but... Uh, yeah, red isn't really... Ugh. Is there anything I else I haven't how seen? She's really holding up. Living off these is not great. But it's better than leaving the apartment. And having to face the people in the town and they asking if you're okay. So long, depression food. 
depression food. Or just I hate cooking food as well. Clean home, clean mind. I go through Price stages stages of hating to cook. I quite enjoy like making good meals or baking and stuff. I can't bake because I eat everything myself, so I, I don't bake ever. And also it costs a lot to bake all the time, you know, so. Um, and cooking is kind of like, I need to cook and I kind of hate microwave food or frozen pizzas. But in stages, I just can't make any food at all because I uh, either I'm just too exhausted or just have no inspiration or yeah, too tired to think of what I want to eat because that's also very difficult to figure out. Um, and then I go through answer, stages of friend. weeks of uh, I guess what you call it depression food, but it doesn't really mean I'm depressed. It's just uh, why look up at the sky? God, when you could look at a sculpture instead. Sucks making food sometimes. I'll toss those soon. I swear. We shall sit in a moment. Wait, what is our goal? Head downstairs. Okay. Let's uh sit then. I don't think it's gonna progress the story. It's just internal monologue time. I love good food though. I just wish I had more money to I thought buy this was gonna be good the food. One. <laughs> Finally. Despite all the disappointments. Or like I try really, really good takeaway. Believe. I believed you completely. I let myself hope, really hope, for the first time in years. Even after I freaked out in front of you and hit you, you didn't push me away. You sat right there and told me that I wasn't broken, mm -hmm. that I was special, and I belonged. I think... Yeah, I think their conversations might impact her a lot. His words were really needed at the time he said them to her, and she will carry that on for a long time. Because he died, this is memories that she will remember very then vividly, probably. Then I don't know what to believe now. Except you're gone again, and I'm still here. Yeah, but this time you won't see him oh, again. Eight, lit eight years later. I hope she sings again. Because I want to sing again. <laughs> Actually, after um, recording that, later that day, later that day of the last episode, I uh, figured yeah, out how to make today. Smule work on computer, which is an app on the phone where you can sing with people. Uh, you can pay for it if you want to, and then it's... Gabe you can really love uh, this place put out duets that other people can join, but it's really expensive, so. Gabe I was such a dad. Don't do that, but I can sing with other people. And since I have a better mic on my computer. This thing's been up here a while. Um, Isn't that stuff It was so really fun bad? singing, singing a little bit. This Wait, thing's been up here a while. Steph's old band, drugstore makeup. Band? Singing is very healing. I used to do karaoke stuff on Twitch. Uh, it's been a while now, though. I bet Gabe could a year or so, year and a half ago. And that was really nice. Nothing uh, else there. So yeah, which is why I sometimes like sing for a second or two, and when I play games too, because it just feels good. Nothing else up here then. So we'll go back down. So I would love for her to sing more, because I also want to sing. Is there anything else? What is our goal now? It says head downstairs. Oh, we haven't uh, checked in on our phone for a while. There should be new uh, messages and stuff. Um, Gabe was the most caring person I've ever met. He never stopped looking for ways to make life better. Whether that meant coming to Haven to find his dad, or fighting to get a grill all the way up the stairs to his rooftop. And he was always willing to help anyone else who wanted to improve their lives. He probably put even more hours into my college interview than I did. He was the kind of person you meet once in a lifetime. Goodbye, Gabe. I'll miss you forever. Lovely message, dear. I'm here if you want to talk. Same here. 
We're having a send off for Gabe Chen at the Lantern on Wednesday at 9 a.m. All are welcome. I'll bring something that reminds you of him. I'll bring some food for everyone too. Thanks, Jason. Uh, the Silver Dragon will be operating on a re regular hours for the next few weeks. Check the website for more details or for any inconvenience. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Hang in there, you're not alone. I can open the shop for you if you need whatever I can do. <clears throat> the Gunnison County Sheriff's Department is working hard to serve and protect the citizens of Haven Springs. If you have any questions, concerns, or would like to report a crime or vandalism, you can contact us over the phone, through our website, or by speaking with a deputy. When will the hiking trails be open again? Unfortunately, the trails we've closed are still a part of an active investigation. We'll get them open again as soon as we can. Can we just put this to bed? He was where he shouldn't have been. Shit happens. Someone's eager to give Typhon a pass. A person died does not mean anything to people. The poster has disabled any fewer further replies. Yeah, that's uh, not a conversation to have over a uh, comment section. Anyone on here got a good handyman? We can't seem to get any hot water to the upstairs shower. I'd offer to lend you Ryan, but it might be a while before he's filling up to it. Yeah, I get it. Thanks anyway, Jed. I used to be a handyman back in Philly. I can take a look at it free of charge if you want. Lifesaver. In all the darkness that surrounds the death of a loved one, I think it's important to remember the good times. So I want to share one of my favorite memories of Gabe Chen. I just sold him a bouquet and he admitted that he'd put his foot in his mouth again with his girlfriend and needed to make it up to her. I sent him on his way with some lovely tulips, but 15 minutes later, there he was again. I asked Charlotte if I could have her two lips in exchange for these tulips, so now I'm back. <laughs> what a guy, practically kept us in business. I think I actually remember this. Guy could sure light up a room, no kidding. I feel sick. We here at Typhoon Mining were shocked and saddened to hear about Gabe Chen's death. Such loss of life is always tragic and affect many in our community. We would like to take this time to assure the community that Typhoon remains committed, as always, to following the strictest safety practices in the industry. Your community is our community, and we will cooperate with any and all law enforcement investigations until this matter can be properly laid to rest. Alright, that seems to be it. Okay, let's, um... Ooh, take a look at messages. Okay, let's start with Jed. Morning, Alex. Did you get my notes? I'm holding a small service for Gabe at 9 a.m. today if you could care to join us. No pressure at all. Thanks, Jed. I'll be down soon. Glad to hear it. God, and it's hard, like, it was right downstairs, too. Like, she didn't really have much choice, sort of, though. Why wouldn't you have gone right? But Alex, I'm so sorry. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Uh, let's check Ducky. Dear Alex, it was very much a pleasure meeting you this evening. I hope you find a welcoming home here in Haven. I look very much forward to our next meeting. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. Thank you, Ducky. That's very sweet. Uh, who do we want to see first? Let's go Charlotte. Alex, I'm so sorry. You don't have to respond, but I just wanted to tell you, thanks for saving Ethan's life. I don't know what I would do if I lost him. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. Ryan. Alex, I'm so sorry. I should have saved him. I don't know what to say. I don't see a way you could have saved him, Ryan, so I think you did very good. Hey, Alex, it's Steph. I'm so, so sorry. I loved Gabe. I can only imagine what you're going through. Please call me if you need anything. Uh, okay, so we have, uh, yeah, Ethan and Steph here as well, so let's go through these. It's so easy for your brain to turn on you. The same part of you that tells stories and makes art and gives the world order and beauty and meaning is the part where nightmares grow. And sometimes those nightmares leak out, seep into the world around you. I can still see Ethan collapsing in on himself at the edge of the ravine, so scared that he couldn't move, couldn't breathe. I reached out because I had to reach out. I submitted to his fear because I couldn't think of any other way forward. And it worked. We made it back. And I collapsed on the hard, solid ground. And I kept thinking, this is who you can be if you want to be. Someone who helps people. Someone who understands. For a few seconds, everything was so clear. But then the ground wasn't solid anymore. And Gabe was gone. What good am I to anyone if I couldn't stop that? None of it will save me. Ninth Warden wouldn't be afraid. I thought I could hunt the monster. Thought I could hunt it, thought I could be brave. Nothing can save you, there's nothing to save. That's quite nice. Steph's sorrow. Steph's sadness was born out of love. 
It wasn't empty. There was dimension to it. A form and volume of loss that I could step inside. In there, I met a Gabe who felt much like my own, only more so. An instigator, a listener, a prodder, a cheerleader, a shitster, a brother, basically. It wasn't long, but it was enough to know exactly what Steph needed. The best piece of my brother I could conjure for her from thin air for just a moment. So I kicked her ass in foosball and celebrated in the most obnoxious way I could, naturally. It was dumb and goofy and over in a flash, but in its wake the sadness was lifted, and Gabe didn't seem quite as gone as before. First Ethan, now Steph. I think I'm finally starting to understand this thing. Gabe was right, it was a gift to connect to someone, to feel what they are feeling, to help them. Just wish he'd been around to tell me earlier. Football champion, don't shit on my yard, I'll be crashing here tonight, move to Denver, one more game. I want to make things right, I don't want to fight, so I'll be crashing here tonight. Don't turn out the lights. Memories. Riley letter. I don't know if I've read this. I feel like I never... Oh, wait, you can Brian, listen. I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. I remember you this. I just don't remember do nice this text. Without the expectation <clears throat> of getting laid, right? A high school dropout. A guy who went to... I want to... I want to read this as well. Mac Riley letter, chapter one. I could do without Mac's furies and insecurities banging around in my skull, to be honest. It's such an urgent feeling, a rope around his neck pulling him forward, compelling him, urging him to find something other than himself to direct his fury toward. Every morning, this guy wakes up with the sinking, inarguably certainty that today will be the day Riley comes to her senses, realizes how much better and smarter she is than him, and cut the cord. So it's almost a relief when he finds some external target to project his self-hatred onto. Riley's goofy bartender buddy, the one who's helping her follow her dreams of leaving Haven Springs behind. He tells himself a story, turns Gabe into the villain, for at least as long as it takes to blow up in his face, he can distract himself from feeling worthless. I wish I didn't relate so fucking hard. Uh, in uh, interesting? Gabe's apartment. Is that something I haven't found? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what am I doing? Head downstairs. Oh, out of here. Okay. Uh, notes. Alex, I'm having a small event for your brother tomorrow at 9. I'd love to have you there, but no pressure, okay? You take all the time you need, Jed. Uh, yeah, I know that. Alex, let me know if you need any groceries. I'll cover the cost, Jed. Put ice and alcohol at your own risk. Oh, this is the bottom Thanks, of Jed. it. Alex, I'm so sorry. Our apartment's yours for as long as you need. You know where to find me if anything comes up. Tip your bartender. If you can't, maybe you had too much. <clears throat> huh. Hasn't been cleaned up. The sweater kind of matches her glasses. Oh, hey, kid, you don't have to do that. Too don't late. Don't worry about it. I don't think Alex knows what to do right now. <laughs> Wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake. And you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. Mm. Max fault. I don't know. I think I'll say appreciate it. I appreciate it. That's Ryan also enough. instigated that a little bit, I feel like. I mean, it's hard I don't to remember who a good started. Of your dead brother's wake. Strong shit, though. No. There's no <clears> good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. Mm. Wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. Yeah, we'll I do. I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? 
Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. He's not gonna I warn me. I feel like about... I should warn you though. <laughs> you might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. It's very true that you might not get the closure you want. I think I get it. Thanks for looking out for me, but I think there's a lot of families out there you. who's lost somebody in their family. I wish I had and an not gotten for closure. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty hairy. And I think sometimes you have to try. Swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. Okay. And one more thing. Mm. I've a been car? meaning to give you this for the last few days, but uh. I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. Okay. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about rent? What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Jed is really nice. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> He's so good. Uh, I I have no idea what to even say to him. Hey, that was terrible. You shouldn't have had to see that. I know you're going through a lot. Can we talk? I know it's asking a lot, but I think I really need to talk to you. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, is there anything new here? It is showing like an exclamation point, but I don't know what I haven't seen. I see now, Haven Springs. God, we have all of this. This was before she came here, no? Huge thanks to everyone who helped out with Doc Day. Taxidermy animal help. Birding competition. Happy birthday to him and one and only. Oh, that was Gabe's. Parkour lessons. 30th anniversary. Donating two brand new Road King law enforcement motorcycles. Needs any computer help? Hit me up. Family per portraits. Mountain song, Monster Hunter. Uh, okay. That should be it. One of their your neighbors has changed their relationship status. Is <laughs> Riley's not single? Okay, that was it. Didn't know there was so much from like before we got here, sort of. Oh, Ooh. wrong button. Uh, phone again. Wait, no. Uh, doesn't look like it. Um, is there anything we can take a look at here? I wonder, like, because of the memories thing here. It seems like... Uh, I pressed the wrong button again. The Mining Site, Chapter 1. Gabe's Apartment, Chapter 1. Black Lantern. Like, that there might be something to find here? I wonder. Leave it. Oh, my controller is starting to cut out a little bit now. No, we don't need to change it. This town has a long memory. Guess yeah, it's nice to know that Gabe won't be forgotten. I'll spend the rest of my life wondering what would have happened if Ryan hadn't cut that rope. I bet he will too. I think that's normal to Why think do about. I feel like this is a challenge. Death sauce, fiery death. Why? Why did I do this to myself? Hot take. Death awaits. Mala hot sauce tail. I don't know. 
Would have been fun to let Gabe kick my ass at pool. Hmm. Yeah, I can play that again. That took forever. I should put something here. It's the least I can do. Um. I wish we'd had more time. Gabe Chen. Smooth criminal. They must have been close. Poor Ethan. Hmm. I hope Ducky didn't finish this by himself. Courtesy of Haven's favorite DJ, I bet. Maybe I can find something upstairs to put on the memory table. Yeah, let's do that. Gabe would have appreciated having beer at his wake. Uh, is there anything else? I here? bet Gabe would be up here a lot if he wasn't the one taking the pictures. Hmm. Why can I do this to this? I had an incredible mom. Achievement umbrella. I, I decided I wanted to be a ranger. She was the first person I told. She said. She said. You're exactly what these mountains need. Losing someone like that. I guess you never get used to it. Yeah, I don't think Is you would. Is that Jed? Without his beard? I don't know. Kind of hard to tell. Um, okay, let's see if we can find something to put at Gabe's thing. What is the guitar? You think I'm going to sing? Wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory table. Same. Mm, yeah, I can't sing. Um. Turn table. Maybe I need to go upstairs. Snowboard. <laughs> yeah, let's just put that there, shall we? Flowers? I mean, the first thought I had was the thing here. The button. Oh wait, we can do this to this too. You could stay here too. Achievement time. I for wouldn't try to here. stop you. Yeah, good. I'll be Easy. the only trans person in a town with a population of like four. That sounds like a blast for me. Thanks for not trying to stop me. I'm sorry, Izzy. It's not you, and it's not the band. So they were in a band I together. I love that shit. But I need to try this. It's just. Time for something new. I knew it. I knew this would happen eventually. Fucking. Hmm. See you around, stuff. <sighs> Was that like a breakup? I knew it would happen eventually. Like most relationships end, right? So, yeah, you kind of would know it would happen eventually. Oh, okay. So more things are showing up here now. Ryan with the umbrella. In my mind, I can see the rain pattering against her headstone. The stone turns a little darker with each drop. The name engraved there, Anne Luke and mother and wife, a little more pronounced. Ryan stared so long at that name during the service that it stopped signifying what he used to signify. Just lines scratched into an expensive rock. His mom was more than a name, more than a mother or a wife. His mom was the reason Ryan felt so deeply, the reason he was unafraid to embrace and evangelize every dorky passion that captured his attention. It's hard to reconcile the 19-year-old in this memory with the guy I know. It's hard to believe anyone can start to feel normal again after something like this. I'm still not sure I do believe it. Okay. They met in Seattle, a couple of queer punk rock girls drifting through the scene looking for comrades who wouldn't be spooked by their respective baggage. And they found each other. They called the band Drugstore Makeup, Steph on drums, Easy on guitar, a lot of noise for a two-woman band. For a while, Easy thought they were in love. For a while, Steph tried to be. 
It's weird to think that the things I like most about stuff, her enthusiasm, her ability to have a wild idea and commit to it, her fearlessness represented such a deep end for drugstore makeup. For her and Izzy, I can feel stuff sh staring across the rooftop at her, wishing that Izzy was was what she needed, and I guess my heart breaks for both of them. Interesting. I wonder what the game. Oh, this is also a memory. Isn't it? No, that's just a ball. <laughs> uh, I wonder what the game memory is. I wanna, I wanna find that too. Okay, look at the button. Gabe was such a dad. Mm. Bird feeder. No birds today. Hmm. Is there nothing? I don't feel like I missed anything, but I didn't feel that the last time either, and then I realized I could look at things up here, so. I don't know. Wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory table. Yeah, I do wonder. And I wonder if there's something I can look at that I haven't noticed. If I'm looking for like a white dot, then what? Where would that be? Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Could it take the photo? A week. Yeah. You're coming downstairs. All right. But I'm not finding anything in this room that I can look at. So I don't know. Guess we're just bringing that downstairs then. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> so this photo. Glad I have, have something to add to Gabe's table. I feel like I saw something, but it might have just been been the I don't know, the view. Let's take another glance at everything. Should be able to see the dot at a distance, right? I feel like the, with the umbrella we did that. Let's talk to Hopefully, him. Hopefully things around here can settle down again. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be good. No one could blame me for wanting to drink all my sorrows away. Mm hmm R, M, and T, B. I wonder who they were. Jed definitely has a decorating style. I'd call it steakhouse chic. Mm-hmm. I don't want to use the jukebox right now. I think Gabe had more fun at his job than anyone. He seemed like a person who... I can't check it from here. And it doesn't seem like I can go there. Can I go there from the other side? Achievement, no Kay. handouts. Look. I appreciate what you're trying to do for me, Mr. Lukin, but I'm not staying long. And I don't take handouts. Just maybe don't cash that check like right now. Um 
run check. Gabe, God, it's weird to hear him like this. Since the moment we reconnected, he's been so light, so full. But he was empty when he got here. You can hear it in his voice, chasing dad across the country was all he had. All he was. I'm pretty sure he slept in the park the first night he was here. And Jed, who never met a stray he didn't want to adopt, couldn't help himself. He took Gabe in, gave him a place to sleep, just until he got his feet back under him. Just until he picked up the trail and moved on. Did he hope that Gabe would stay? Did he intuit through the hollow-eyed street kid weariness and the I don't take handouts posturing that Gabe needed someplace new to call home if he ever was going to feel like a human being again? Is that what he intuits about me too? Gabe's apartment. Like it seems like I'm missing something up there and I don't want to continue until I found it. Pike. I need to look at the fish. Okay, I'm gonna do another walkthrough of this place and see if I find anything. And I'll skip ahead uh, if I find it. Okay, I'm really not finding anything, so I think it's time to continue and uh, hope that whatever it is, we can find it later or something. It's really pretty. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop. And then but he I have said, "Time to swing by the dispensary." Yes. If I want. And I do think we want that. Alex, can you come by the dispensary sometime? I think I need your advice. Sure thing. Hey, do you have a sec to swing by the store? Maybe. What's up? Nothing big. I'll tell you when you get here. Okay, we'll do that. On one hand, there's the open road and the freedom to run away from my problems. On the other, helmet hair. You heard about the accident. Mm. Was it on the news? I wonder how many fish Ducky's caught in this this thing. Looks really nice. Yet. The graphics are so nice. Oh, we can sit here. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that, I said. <laughs> Do I even want to stay here without Gabe? It's a good question. In a state I've never been to before. This town I've been in for less than a week. Not that I know where else I'd even go. Back to the nothing waiting for me in Portland. Yeah, I don't know where else you could go. Fuck. I have no idea what comes next. But I'm not leaving here without answers about Gabe. At least I know that. I wonder if I am dreaming. Everything feels so strange now. Under this song town sky I wonder if there's still me Okay The park looks fun to explore He does? If not for the paddling, kayaking would be super relaxing I love kayaking <clears throat> Sorry about leveling all your mountains Here's a bench Hmm <laughs> True. Tragically, now isn't the time to check out the rest of Haven. Yeah, I mean, it did seem close there anyway, so... I haven't been a bartender long, but I'm pretty sure these are supposed to stay in the bar. Yeah, or like, just not in the park, left over. This is cool. In a wicker man sort of way. I don't think this whole town is a pagan cult, but I can't rule it out. Too bad I can't just run away from all this. Ethan! Is he feeling guilty? Everyone needs to stop I didn't telling me it's okay. Really think stop. about that. Fuck. 
Losing Gabe's been hard enough for a supposed grown-up like me. But for Ethan... Yeah, new dialogue unlocked. Um, yeah, thinking about that, Ethan uh, is the reason they had to go there in the first place. Um, I don't necessarily think it's Ethan's fault, obviously, because I don't think you should blame a kid for that. But I did wonder why they didn't just stop him from going there in the first place, since we knew he would want to go there, but... I guess that's uh, from a gameplay standpoint that you knew that would mm -hmm. happen. Yeah, let's... And in real life it's hard to know when kids are gonna do something stupid. <laughs> let's not ask you okay, he just said he hated that. Do you... wanna talk about it? I'm fine. I'm okay. not. Okay, definitely not fine. Everyone needs to stop telling me it's okay. It's not. Oh, he didn't necessarily say that. I'm here for you whenever you need me. Asking if he wants to talk seems like the better thing, though, because asking if you're okay all the time is kind of annoying, no? Can I not check him? I can't. I have to go this closer. Is awful. He was so young. He must be reading about Gabe. Hmm. Can I check these guys? You're writing a novel? What if I die tomorrow? And just like that guy. What have I done with my life? I don't have any easy answers for that. Babe, this is great. At this point. I it's wouldn't cool. be surprised if the spring festival ends with a ritual sacrifice. Oh, you shouldn't say that. It might happen. What if I'm secretly a total prodigy at disc golf, but never had the chance to find out? Probably for the best, honestly. This feels like a lot of places you're allowed to go. Like, I don't remember a lot of the other Life is Strange games having so much open area. I mean, it's not like super much, but it is some. I wish I had a map right now. Like, I feel like I'm getting lost in this town. I feel like I'm gonna go the wrong place when I don't mean to. At least back then, the only people dying in mining accidents were miners. Oh yeah, at least that was fine. Because they work with it anyway. Well. This whole thing is so horrible. There's literally nothing I can do for Ethan. I feel so useless. I've been there. Mm -hmm. I didn't talk to him. I wasn't really sure what to say. Hey, I'm just gonna listen into your feelings and thoughts. He was too young. Just too young. Hey, Pike. Hey. Um, how you holding up? Been better. Guess I've been better. Yeah, right. Dumb question. Nah, hey, it's, it's one we're so used to asking. Gabe was something else. He could bring a smile to my face even on the worst days. Yeah. That seemed like a guy. And, uh, when you're ready, I still need to get your statement for the investigation. <laughs> Maximum art. I'll be ready soon. I think I'll be ready soon. Yeah. Yeah. No rush. I don't want to go around saying Max a liar like a crazy person, you know? Like, Max a liar, Max a liar. Like, everybody would be tired and maybe start seeing you as a little bit of a obsessive Tragically, obsessed now person the about time it. to check out the rest of haven it's better to try to be rational i mean sort of insert epiphany about new beginnings here uh so oh, not that one visit staff visit the dispensary investigate the shop flower shop okay we just need to make sure we don't go to the flower shop 
This location gets all the patrol oh, customers first. here are a lot nicer than in Denver. Never been to Denver, but I guarantee they're nice here. You. General store. What about that? Nothing says festive like three exclamation. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. I might be too close to the issue to have an unbiased opinion. Traders. Do you want to do something together next week? Sure. Come on, man. Can't you take a hint? She's not into you. Let it go. That's rough. If I tell him I like him, we'll date, and then we'll break up, mm. and then I'll lose my best friend. Hmm. Maybe I could help them. Wait, hell no. What am I thinking? This is none of my business. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. It isn't really any of your business, Jed no. Said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Yes. Yeah, I usually... It's a cool mural. Guess they didn't feel like painting the mine. Can I go back here? Riley? If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can get her to tell me. Hopefully, I'm not progressing the story. Hey, Riley. A little bit worried. Alex. Hey. Uh. How's the right approach here? I know you and Gabe were close. How are you doing? I miss him so much. He was like an older brother to me. Yeah, you probably knew him better than Alex, honestly. I'm glad you had him, I'm glad he had you. Uh, what's the difference here? I'm glad you had him, I'm glad he had you. I feel like it's more Natural to say I'm glad you had him, but why is that making me feel like I'm saying the wrong thing? Like, I know, like, the... I'm glad you had him, it makes it about him, like, him being a great person, and... And then I'm glad he had you, makes her the one that's... The one that's standing out. But I, I still feel like I'm glad you had I'm him. Glad you had him. Like, he I'm glad a, he was a brother a to you, guy, too, sort Alex. of, you know? Eleanor. You and Eleanor seem close. She's taken care of me ever since I was little. I never really knew my mom, but she's always been there for me. What does she think about you going away to school? She's thrilled. <laughs> I think she just wants me to end up happy. Mm. That's sweet. That's really sweet. She's the most selfless person I know. She's lucky to have you. Thanks. Mac. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of him. Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this... Makes sense. I can see that they were right. Good. Think Mac ignored Gabe's call? Think Mac's telling the truth? Think Mac's telling the truth. Do you think he's telling the truth about the call? That Gabe never made it? No, I... I it's not that... I... Sorry... Yeah, I want I want her to say it on her own and not like cuz it's hard for her. She was she was with um she was with Mac and and I think making her have have to paint him as the villain like immediately after the breakup is very hard for her and very confusing. So I don't really want to say he's the villain, you know. He's acting so weird. Yeah, we can say that, I think. Yeah. I get it. It's just... 
If he didn't do anything wrong, why is he acting like he has something to hide? Does she know something about it? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. Uh -huh. I told him no. And that we were done. And now... I'm scared. He did something horrible. We'll find out eventually, I think. Riley. But, yeah, I don't know. Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. Thank you. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. Feel better, Riley. We'll talk soon. Can I go behind here? Yeah. Whenever you want. Simple but effective. Gate. What could be back there? I don't know. I'm kind of scared to check it, but... Damn. Maybe there's something around here I can use to get it open. Why do you want to break open a gate? Again, I hope it's not progressing in the story and that going into the flower shop is what's going to progress the story. I've broken into places for less. Uh, oh, okay, you're not going to break break the gate, you're just going to open it. Guess it's not too bad. What is this? Wagon wheel. Yee. And I cannot stress this enough. Ha. Yee haw. Is that it? Really? Okay. Uh, okay, okay. We need to go to dis the dispensary, I think, now. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed so, said Charlotte wants to talk to me. That's the flowers. No, what's that? Is that the record shop? No, this is the dispensary. Oh my god, I thought this was the flower shop. Oh, sorry. We hey. met briefly. You're mm -hmm. Gabe Chen's sister, right? That is correct. Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Must be hard hearing that from everybody too. You're just walking through town and everybody's like, sorry for your loss, sorry for your loss, sorry for your loss. <laughs> you just keep being reminded of it when you, I don't know, maybe want to think about something else. Hey. Charlotte? Alex. Hey. Is that his will Jeff or something? Said you wanted to see me? I just wanted to see how you were doing. Staying busy. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah. Distractions help. Yeah. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. Yeah, he's blaming himself. Probably. He does seem distant. He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. He needs time showing me you're hurting too. Uh, sometimes both. 
Sometimes both. Um, you know, like being in pain or being depressed, mourning, like it all requires different approaches for different people. I think usually you want to show that you're hurting too, or at least be honest about the feelings you have so that they feel safe enough to show their feelings. If you don't, then they feel like they're, I don't know, but I think he, Ethan is feeling guilty and he feels like Gabe died because of him. And that's a lot to carry. And I don't know if he would say that if you uh, gave him time. I think he might just sit with that feeling and, and it'll just expand inside of him. So showing him a little bit of what you're feeling, I think is the right idea. He's a pretty insightful kid. He knows how much you're hurting, even when you try to hide it from him. Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to be strong, maybe the best thing you can do is show him that Yeah, our instinct is to okay try to be him. strong, right? I know it's my instinct. That's really helpful, Alex. Thank you. Isn't that interesting how hard it is to open up and show what they I call can't weakness? Get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death is Gabe. Mm, makes sense. He was what good. Good with that kind of stuff. An affidavit. Hmm. From Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges in exchange for a payment. A big one. That's shady, that is shady. Um, if Mac is guilty, then the company is also guilty? Right? I'm gonna say that's shady. That's so shady. Why would they be offering you money if they Sometimes didn't do anything Sometimes it's... Wrong? They don't know... They say it's but... an offer of good faith. But you're right. He's dead because of them. And I'd be letting them off. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? I think... <laughs> I think doing what's best for you is if that's taking the money and you want to like leave everything behind uh, or like put it behind you, then that's what's right for you. I don't really feel like I should impact this because I want to turn the offer down because I don't want them not to be able to get them later if they want to but uh and i don't really feel like they need the money i don't think you should sign it i'm sorry i know it's hard uh. but you can't let typhon buy you off gabe made that call and i'm gonna prove it i just I need some time. I feel like it's safe enough not to. Thanks for not being to honest. sign it. If they sign it, then it's gonna be hard to do anything, and leaving the possibility open. If they're willing to pay Charlotte, is to worth keep quiet, not taking the money. Definitely hiding something. I really appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to take a look around if you want. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I don't remember when the game last saved. But I do think I need to stop here. Uh, I think it's a good place to stop and we'll explore more. There's a lot to do in this chapter. So we have a lot to do next time as well. Okay, we're going to end it there. And I really don't know if the game has saved recently or not. So we might have to replay some of that next time. I'm not sure, but I'm getting quite tired. So I do need to stop. So we'll deal with the consequences if there are any consequences to not continuing 
right now. But okay, this was quite a quiet part because we could explore a lot, look through the rooms and look at the auras of items and read through what it meant, talk to some uh, characters, getting one step closer to knowing what Max intentions were or are. And I'm worried for Ethan, but I hope that Charlotte will talk to him and help him. If not, I'm sure we get the chance to help him a little bit later as well. But yeah, we're gonna leave it here. I hope you liked this video as always. And remember that if you did, you can always like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.